when a person exercises his authority, when, when someone says something, you also want to know what is the basis of the authority. And for most of us, we will listen to someone who has authority. This authority often comes from appointment to an office or from some academic degrees that they hold. And so, when someone is legitimately appointed, even though we disagree, we respect the authority. And so too, for knowledge, we are not experts in every area. We tend to listen to those who have shown that they have done serious studies on the particular subject or discipline. Yet this is not always the case. Because today, even if we have been appointed to the office legitimately, many of us also question the person in authority. They might be legitimately appointed, but they cannot win the hearts of those people who oppose them. It's the same thing for intellectual knowledge, whether in science, in medicine. Today, they are experts, all giving very diverse explanation and views, but they cannot agree on what is the truth. That is why it's very difficult today to command respect and to command acceptance. This is the world that we live in. It's very challenging, especially for those of us who are leaders, trying to convince those people under our care to follow our direction. Today, people are educated. Everybody thinks that he knows the right answer. Nobody really wants to know the truth. Or even if we know the truth, we are afraid to accept it. And what is truth? It's not an intellectual knowledge. Truth is not a word. It is not even a philosophy. Truth is an event, something real, something we can encounter. Truth is not just plain words and discussion. It is about life, about love. Today's leaders cannot speak the truth. Otherwise, he will be attacked by all sides. Today, the truth is couched in the right political language. To say something, but not to say it directly, so that nobody gets hurt, we must be ambiguous. Nobody is right, nobody is wrong. How is the world going to change? But that is the reality. Even leaders are afraid to utter the truth for fear of the people, not fear of God, fear of people. It's the person authority that is lacking. What is person authority at the end of the day? It is when we lift the gospel, when we lift out the laws, the wisdom of God. That is what will happen help us to command authority. So just using the authority of office, authority of knowledge, will not command the respect of people. It is the way we live our lives that we will gain respect and acceptance.